The art of spin bowling is quite amazing, isn't it? For those who have no clue about the skill, it is a fascinating aspect of cricket where the bowlers, they use various techniques to make the cricket ball deviate from its normal straight path. And that is why today we are going to talk about the biomechanics of spin bowling. So if you are someone who is looking to perfect your spin bowling mechanics or help somebody else perfect their spin bowling technique or generally just interested in this skill, then this video is for you. So I have listed down five key components that can help you improve your spin bowling mechanics and its efficiency. Let's get started and talk about our first component, which is the grip. The grip is fundamental to spin bowling. When I talk about the grip, it is very simple. Basically, how you hold the ball is going to determine the outcome of your delivery. So normally, the two common grips that are used are the traditional off-spin grip and the leg spin grip. Having a proper grip on the ball can allow you to swing the ball the way you want it to. For example, you can consider Shane Warne, who is one of the greatest leg spinners. Generally, he uses a very unique and firm grip that enables him to generate an immense spin to the ball. So to analyze your grip or any bowler's grip, focus on how the fingers are positioned on the ball. Analyzing the grip using motion analysis software can help you visualize the angles and the pressure points of the grip used by the bowler. There's not an ideal grip, so to speak, but achieving a comfortable yet firm hold on the ball allows for maximum control and spin. The second component that you should be working on to better your spin bowling mechanics would be the release point. The release point is crucial in determining the trajectory of the ball. I mean, a well-timed and a consistent release point is an absolute game changer. For instance, you can consider Ravichandran Ashwin, who is by the way known for his off-spin variations. He maintains almost a consistent release point, making it very difficult for the batsman Again, analysis of this component is very simple. Analyze the release point of the ball concerning the bowler's body position and his arm angle. This will definitely help in optimizing your release point for maximum spin and maximum accuracy. So talking about the ideal release point, it depends on the bowler and the technique used by him, the spin that is imparted on the ball. But as a general rule, an ideal release point is slightly in front of your bowling arm shoulder, which allows for the optimal control and for the optimal spin. Now, the third component that you should be focusing and working on as a spin bowler is the body position during the delivery strike. This component significantly impacts the spin and the accuracy of the delivery. So it is very important to maintain a stable and a balanced body position during the delivery strike. Anil Kumble is a fantastic example for this. So if you look at him, he showcases excellent body position during delivery stride that allows him to extract sharp turns and bounces. You can look at your body position by tracking the alignment of your hip, your shoulder and your feet. Now doing this can help you in identifying any deviations that are potentially affecting the delivery. Talking about the ideal body position during the delivery stride, it generally involves a slight forward lean with the non-balling arm providing for the stability and the balance throughout the delivery. Now, the fourth component that you should be looking out for is nothing but the rotation of the ball. So in this context, rotation refers to the spin that is applied to the ball. The amount and the type of rotation that is applied to the ball not only determines the ball's trajectory, but it also determines the ball's movement of the pitch. A perfect example here is going to be Mutai Mulidharan, who is a master of off spins. He generates exceptional rotations to the ball, constantly surprising the batsman with his variations. To analyze this particular component, just drag the revolutions of the ball in flight. Yes, it is very simple and trust me, it will help you in understanding the effectiveness of your spin technique. So when it comes to ideal rotation, it again depends on the bowler and the technique used by him. But generally speaking, two revolutions per second for off spinners and three revolutions per second for leg spinners is considered ideal ensuring a significant deviation of the pitch. So finally, the fifth component that you should be focusing on is your follow through. Follow through is also the last phase of the bowling action and plays a pivotal role in maintaining your balance and your momentum. I have said it before and I'll say it again, a smooth and controlled follow through is essential. A smooth and controlled follow through not only reduces the risk of injuries, but it also helps you to enhance the accuracy of your delivery. For follow through, again, you can take the example of Shane Warne. Shane Warne's follow through is amazing with the perfect balance and the perfect control. So for analysis, critically look at the follow through phase. This will help you in refining your follow follow through for optimal performance. So when it comes to the ideal follow through, it involves a smooth transition of weight onto the front foot with the bowling arm extending towards the target, ensuring a complete and balanced finish. So by focusing on these five components, which are the grip, the release point, the body position, rotation and follow through, bowlers can very well enhance their spin bowling mechanics and its effectiveness, ultimately becoming better on the field. So if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again next week with another interesting topic. Until then, 
keep learning keep moving and keep exploring